Today's production lines have to be increasingly flexible in order to serve the demand for a growing number of variants and individualized products. Naturally, this makes it more complex and difficult to utilize lines consistently. Imagine you're tasked with setting up a logistics system for your company's production department or with optimizing the existing system. A lot of complex questions would come up and you'd be able to find answers to them with the help of virtual commissioning. You might ask yourself, how can I properly dimension the system to ensure that maximum productivity is achieved? Where do I position the sensors? Is it possible to test the automation system of the coordinating controller in advance? And can I do it with the monitoring system as well? How can I examine the behavior of my automation system in different scenarios? Finally, how can I train my colleagues to use the new system in the most effective way? We can find an answer to all these questions with a combination of Technomatics Plant Simulation and PLC ZIM Advanced in a virtual commissioning environment. Let's take a look at how it works. In this example, we have a system with driverless transport vehicles, AGVs or Automated Guided Vehicles, which use the Zeman C-Move standard for automation. Here we can see our AGV system in Technomatics Plant Simulation. The key component is the route you see in the center of the screen, which is comprised of a main loop and two side loops one for maintenance and one for rework. Naturally, we have AGVs as well. These vehicles are based on our plant simulation class for transporters, but were expanded so that they can also communicate with PLC ZIM Advanced. We also have a variety of stations, such as this robot, which will load a part into an AGV. This robot is also capable of exchanging signals with the automation system. The automation system itself was configured in TIA Portal. In the network view in TIA Portal, we can see the configuration of our coordinating controller. It runs in a 1518 CPU linked to a TP1500 comfort panel. Ten different AGVs are also configured. On the left-hand side, we can see the project tree with the various function blocks with which the automation code was programmed. As an example, I'll show you the AGV driver, which orchestrates the global behavior of the AGVs. I can now simply download this automation code into our virtual PLC in PLC ZIM Advanced. To do this, I'll create a new instance. And then simply start the download from TIA Portal. Then I'll start the module and the download is successful. A panel is also created in the TIA Portal project. We can start the simulation directly from TIA Portal here as well. The panel gives us an overview of the vehicle route and communication with the stations, and also features lots more screens on the left-hand side, which provide additional information on the system. But more on that later. Here, we have to link all the components to one another, so for this, we'll go back to plant simulation. We're using the PLC SIM Advanced interface for mapping. Here, we can simply import our signals from PLC SIM Advanced and carry out the mapping. We've already done this step for the demonstration. As an example, I'll show you all the signals which were mapped for the inputs here. You can see the address in the PLC on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, you can see the simulation parameter which has been linked to it. Now we can start the simulation and let our coordinating controller manage the AGVs. Let's focus on the virtual commissioning. Here we can see our panel with an overview of the route. The AGVs transmit their position directly from the simulation model to the automation system where they are displayed. We can also see information on the current communication with the stations. If we're interested in knowing more details, we can simply click on an AGV and see information on the current operating mode, the current speed, or the location. We can also see information on the communication and the reason why an AGV is currently in stop mode, for example. Let's try a scenario. Imagine that an AGV needs maintenance. Let's choose AGV number one for this. To send it to maintenance, I'll press the corresponding button here on the panel. 
I can see the corresponding section has been highlighted. Now we have to check whether the automation code is behaving properly. AGV number one is still parked in the garage. I'll set it off on its route now and wait until it has arrived at the crossing at IP3. Here the coordinating controller in the PLC ZIM Advanced decides for the AGV that it should take the turn off on the right. You have just seen one option for interacting with the simulation model directly from the panel to the simulation model, just as the operator would. In reality though, there are other signals which can be exchanged, such as those of the various buttons and switches of a vehicle, which are sent to the coordinating controller. We can simulate this too. For example, our AGV successfully reached the maintenance location and maintenance was performed. But it hasn't continued driving because we are waiting for external approval. To obtain this approval, we have to flip a switch on the AGV itself. I've mapped this signal, the switch signal, to this button here. The moment I initiate it, the coordinating controller gives the signal for the AGV to continue driving. So I've shown you how we carry out virtual commissioning for monitoring and the diagnostic system. We could also have done this for dispatching or route configuration just as well though. Do you remember the questions from the beginning of this video? With Technomatics Plant Simulation, we can identify the optimum material flow. With PLC ZIM Advanced and the simulation model, it's possible to verify automation and the monitoring system and validate them using different scenarios. We can also use this combination for training. Other areas of use for virtual commissioning with Technomatics Plant Simulation and PLC ZIM Advanced are also possible, such as the commissioning of transport system head controllers and standardized line integration. This makes Technomatics Plant Simulation and PLC ZIM Advanced the ideal combination for simulating and optimizing material flows on the line level. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.